What's up my dudes, Valk here, and today this is going to be my spoiler free 1.2 story review, whatever you want to call it, I'm not going to be showing any images, I'm mostly going to be sitting here and absolutely gushing, because it's so good. Now unlike other YouTubers, who I knew as soon as it happened, I'm not going to talk about it too much, because I'm not going to spoil anything, like I said, spoiler free, uh, but there's a big plot twist that occurs during the story. And a lot of people took that plot twist and made it their thumbnail, and I think that's really scummy. I'm not going to be doing that. I don't like that stuff. Let me disavow that right now. So if you want specific reviews, I'll do it. Ask again in like two weeks whenever everyone's had a chance to experience the story on their own, and then I'll give you my specific thoughts on things that happened during the story. However, I just want to gush because everything about this game, everything about this story was amazing. The only downside is it's so short. But really, it wasn't that short. It was like two hours long, and I enjoyed the hell out of it. The first thing I want to gush about, I just want to absolutely get out of the way because it's so damn good, is the music. Every bit of music from the brand new area is absolutely amazing. The battle music, everything. And then there's the actual, I swear they're dropping like banger songs every single, like around every single major boss because we had Take the Journey, we had Wildfire, and now we have this absolute banger. Whenever Dan Haynes walk into this, with this song playing, Dan Haynes could be walking to take a dump and I would be hyped up. This is the most hype ever. This song is so damn good. I highly recommend going and listening to it or downloading it on Spotify like I have. Put it on Spotify. Just listen to this song. It's so good. There's so many good songs in this update. The music is amazing. Hoyo never misses. Now I don't understand why the entire made a whole separate like studio for music. Because Hoyo Mix is absolutely phenomenal. This track is fucking amazing. So with the music out of the way, let's talk about the jump in difficulty. Because yes, the game gets a lot harder. Am I saying that you should not get to, if your TV is 60, you should not do your last equilibrium? Absolutely do it. Do your last equilibrium. It doesn't matter. The game does get much harder though. Uh, specifically, the monkey and the boss of the area. Whenever you get to the new weekly boss, which we all know is here. I'm just going to call it Big Booba Lady because I'm going to spoil nothing. Uh, whenever we get to the final boss, uh, she also has a lot of mechanics that makes it very hard to play against her specifically if you bring characters on the lower end of HP somewhere below 3k monkey and her can absolutely one tap your character that is a literal thing that happens now that is something that exists because if you walk in there with squishy characters you will get rolled and for me it's annoying as a player like going against harder enemies so I can't auto everything but I love the jump in difficulty. Oh God, do I love the jump in difficulty. I love the fact that I have these maxed out characters, like fully built up characters, and I still am worried about getting just one tapped. I love that. I love the fact that there's a lot of threat and that there's a lot of like actual like tension in between fights because the reality or the potential does exist. Now, the characters have mechanics that allow you to play around it or the enemies have mechanics that allow you to play around it, which is really important but it's something that you have to constantly keep in your mind. It's something you have to constantly think about because I love the jump in difficulty. And finally, the last thing I'm going to gush about is the most important one, the story. Oh my God, was the storytelling so good. There is some really good plot twists. There is some really good action sequences. There's some good fighting. I love the story. I can't talk about it in detail too much because once again, spoiler free, but dear God, is it so good. Dude, I was like, I was just loving it from beginning to end. It got so many actual audible reactions out of me. Dude, I've watched character trailers since Genshin's Inception. Not once has a character trailer come out and I go, Oh my God, they're so cool. Normally my reactions are just, oh, sick. This had actually me going, what the hell? Oh my God, I didn't see that coming. Like had me actually making reactions because it was genuinely good plot twists. It was genuinely really good writing. And it leaves us on such big cliffhangers. Like, I don't know, like we really don't know the situation that's currently going on. There could be some really tragic stuff coming in future or we go and rescue the princess in another castle who knows i don't know what's happening there could be stuff that's happening in the future that i don't really get but they left us on really big cliffhangers but either way the storytelling is phenomenal i am so glad if they're going to take six weeks to drop a two-hour story and it is this good 
by all means take all the times you want hell take nine weeks just keep the story this damn good because compared to the start of the lofu where the story was pretty scattered it was kind of hard to follow what was going on between the sanctus medicus and just helping out around lofu it was really hard to keep track of stuff it was really scattered compared to that this is a very clear concise direction that is just action from beginning to end and 1.2 story was absolutely phenomenal i really hope they keep it up i can't gush enough about it because i genuinely i love like it just made me love the game so much more i love love the direction they're taking the story it doesn't feel so it doesn't feel so friendship is magic everything feels earned there are actions there are consequences there are plot twists there's betrayals there's everything and it's such a good combination and i really really hope they keep it up anyways that's been me just gushing about 1.2 so far basically just the story uh, I love everything they did with it. And also, a lot of you guys might not know this, but this is probably one of my favorite things they added in 1.2. If you go here, you go to the banner, you go over here, they have character trials. Meaning, before you pick your 300 character, you can try all of them. Of course, I had to do them all just to get the jades, but you can try every character on this list so you can be sure that the character you are picking is the one you want from the 300. That is amazing to me. I am so glad they're doing this. I'm so glad with all the changes, all the quality of life updates they've given. This has been such a really good update, and I really hope that they keep it up. Um, this is just, <laughs> this update was so damn good so far. And we haven't even got to the events. This is two days in. We haven't even got to the damn events yet. I'm really excited for the events too. I can't gush enough. I'm going to stop gushing. I'm going to let you guys go back to your day. But yeah, I am so glad. And this is a really good reason as to why I love Star Rail. Anyways, if you guys beat the story without spoilers, let me know what you guys think about the story in the comment section below. Uh, for those of you that haven't done the story, I highly suggest you do because it's impossible to watch YouTube right now without getting spoiled. So please be careful watching YouTube. Uh, thank you guys all for watching as always. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh, yeah. One thing I want to talk about before I end the stream, or the not the stream, the video. Before I end the video, why does the water look so damn good? Anyways, <laughs> anyways thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.